Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the Nginx reload and restart commands, and especially in the context of when you have a configuration file error and kind of how to use each one. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. Um, what I do have here is a website at this IP address, and it's not really much of a website, it's just the PHP info um, at this website ending in .167. And what I'm gonna do is log in via SSH to that web server. And this, this website itself is running on an Nginx uh, web server. So in order to demonstrate the difference between the restart and the reload command, what I'm gonna do is go into the etc Nginx sites available directory, which um, there's this default configuration file here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just make a small syntax error here. Um, let's say we'll add an extra N here to the listen uh, uh, line up here. So uh, we'll save that file. And what we're gonna do is do a system CTL restart Nginx. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna kill the server, the Nginx server, shut it down and try to bring it back up. And when it reads that configuration file, it's gonna say, don't know what you're saying about with this listen with two ends. And it's not gonna be able to proceed beyond that point. So if we go back to the website, refresh the page, we'll get a connection refused error because the Nginx um, server is not serving anything because of that error. So um, I'll have another video about how to diagnose these problems, but we obviously know what the fix is here. So listen, change that back to um, one end with listen, and then we'll restart the Nginx server again and refresh the website and we're obviously back to normal. Now, what if we had that same exact um, syntax error, but we gave it a reload command. So systemctl reload Nginx. And I think um, if you're not using systemctl, you can also use service. Uh, but in this case, for this demonstration, we'll use systemctl. So systemctl reload nginx instead of restart, hit enter. And what happens is it still reads that configuration file, but it doesn't shut down the server, the nginx server completely. So if we go back to our website and refresh the page, we still have a live working website. Um, as far as the, the public is concerned, those changes were not applied to, those configuration file changes were not applied um, and we get this output that there was an error. And again, we know what that error is, so we can come back in here and uh, fix the error. Whoops, not make another error. Fix the error, save it, and we can do a reload or we can do a restart at this point. Um, hit enter and refresh and we still have our working server. Um, the way that I recommend if you, I mean, there are cases when you need to do a restart versus a reload and we won't get into that into this video because um, it won't be comprehensive. But if you do need to do a restart, what I recommend doing is to check the syntax of your Nginx configuration file. And we can do that with the Nginx uh, dash T command. So let me show you what that looks like. We know our configuration file is good at this point, and if we do nginx dash t, it's going to check our configuration files. And what it basically says is the configuration file here is okay, and the configuration file here is okay. And these configuration files um, read in they they include our default configuration file and any other configuration file. So if those are okay, then the whole server is okay. But if we make that same syntax error again. Uh, or it doesn't have to be the same, it could be something different, but just for consistency's sake, if we do nginx t, it'll go ahead and say unknown directive listen with two ends, and it'll tell us exactly where that is um, in the sites enabled default configuration file on line two. So again, fix the error, and now we can do the nginx t again to test out the configuration file. We don't see any errors, so now we know reasonably confident that we can do a systemctl restart nginx without experiencing some type of fatal error and that works so let's refresh the page just to check one last time and our website is still up and running guys if you have any questions about reload versus restart in the context of nginx let me know in the comments below i'll do my best to help you out i want to thank you guys for watching if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future definitely consider subscribing to this channel and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.